Hey guys, welcome to the episode of Thrifting with Tony. I'm Tony, and this is Thrifting with Tony. Today we're in Tolleson, Arizona. I have to come out here to get some chicken feed, and uh, there happens to be a good will over here by the Tractor Supply Company. So we are here on 99th Avenue and Van Buren, and this is a hit or miss. I found some really good stuff in here before, um, high ticket value stuff. And then sometimes I come in here and the shelves are empty, so it's a toss up. So let's go inside and see what we find. As soon as I get my cart, I see it, I want it, I need it, and I get it. Yes! I love it. I'm gonna collect a bunch of these. Ice, not too bad. This is Willow Tree. I do really good with these, but the hand is broken, so we leave her behind. This cute little baby, look at that. I pick him up. I really love this glass piece. It's super blue and it's super vintagey. Um, it does have a little tiny chip on the inside of the lid and I was thinking about it Do I want it and I end up getting it. It's really cute So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or list it, but I love it Super cute, but just a little bit too much on the modern side, so I leave this piece behind Love this piece, so cute, but again, it's chipped. Both the ears are chipped. That seems to be the case today, a lot of chipped pieces. And as always, if you guys see something that you think I should have picked up, let me know. I do pick up this Southwest piece. I think it's super gorgeous. It's a little like ceramic trinket box. It has cactuses and all that good stuff. So that's definitely going in the court. My ex must have left one of his multiple personalities behind. Oof, spooky. I found this handmade stained glass piece. Not so good, I didn't really like it. But then I found this piece back here which is also handmade and from Israel and I thought it was really pretty. So I do pick up that one. Found some Fiesta wear and it's brand new and guess what? I found eight other Fiesta wear mugs. Boop! Good find. Got them all. After the 20% I picked them up for 79 cents a piece. As you can see we have a lot of mugs so we are definitely going to mug it. This one because it's funny, a housewife, a stay-at-home mom, um, definitely would love that. Let's see what else we find. I do like this one. It just, it wasn't like wow to me. It had butterflies on it and it said believe, but eh, I decided to leave that one behind. Ohio State mugs always do good. This one's a little rusted, that's why I left it. There's a little pink mug down there that says cats make me happy. I should have picked up that fucking mug. This mug, super vintagey, 
souvenir mug from Zion, Utah, Bryce Canyon, all that area. Um, that's going to do super well in the store. Hello, it's Disney, it's Tinkerbell, it's totally going to sell. And I do get this, and the price was really good. And then I find this mug, and I think my grandpa is following me or something, because this is the second thrift that I find something from John Wayne. And it was a good price. John Wayne mugs do really well on my store. And I was super excited to find this mug. So cool. It's a vintage Rugrats mug. I am probably going to keep this. Elijah really loves Rugrats, so I'll show him that. This Coca-Cola mug was just nasty and used. This Elf on the Shelf mug is missing its little uh, spoon, so I do leave that behind. And then I thought this was one of those Disney mugs from Disney World. Um, they kind of look like that and they have like Epcot and stuff on them. They do really well in the store. I love this piece, but it was meant to look vintage just like these pieces. These are from like Hobby Lobby or something, so I just left them behind, but I thought they were pretty cool. surprised that they put this out on the floor but okay goodwill i see you this was really cute um i thought it might be like ruby glass but it was more modern i know it looks vintage but it was more modern this was so cute and that was also modern so i left it This is a cute Italian piece. I don't know, I the price was great and I thought it was really good. Um, I have a few Italian pieces like this that have been sitting for a while so I haven't, I didn't want to pick it up. Um, I did do sell Italian bases off the shelf but these little serving dishes like this, uh, nut dishes, I just don't do well with them so I left it behind. This was super cute down here, but Lord knows shipping this would have been awful. I mean, I definitely could have, but I just didn't want to. It just <laughs> wasn't in my energy today. I should have got those egg salt and pepper shakers. I was too busy looking at these. Damn, those were cute. I was totally gonna get this and then I realized it was broken because it's supposed to be on this thing over here. So I leave it there. And I find this cute piece. I think it's so cool. And unfortunately it is also broken. The ear is, or the little snout is cut off. And this guy too. This is the one with the ear that's messed up. But I would have totally picked up all three of those pieces yet they were all broken.
Disney picture frames do really well for me on the store, especially like the, the 50th anniversary. Um, this is super cool and I got it for $4.49 minus 20% and I think I can probably get 25 to 30 bucks for it. I know you people love your chilies because every time I post a chili thing on my store, they are gone, gone, gone. These two I found together and I picked them both up. Found a little bit of Pyrex over here. This one was in really good condition, so that's why I picked it up. They had um, two bowls down here. You can see them right there. And they wanted $60 for them or $50 for them. $60 for them. And ugh, I was not doing that. So, hi Pyrex. Bye Pyrex. I'm not paying that. My picture frame section is depleted and I need to start uh, picking up some. So I thought this one was really cool for $1.50. And let's see what else we find. I also like this one. Of course, you guys know I'm obsessed with blue and white. So I do pick this one up for me. I really like this one. I totally would have got it, but um, looking in the back, there was no way to like hang it on a wall or a stick to hold it up. So I just left that behind. Yes, blue and white bunny. Woo, I love it. So we're coming to the end of our thrift and I just want to thank you guys for continuously supporting my channel um, and if you guys are new here I'd really appreciate if you would hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification so you can get notified anytime I throw out some new content. And as always, I'll see you guys at the thrift store. Thank you for thrifting with Tony. Bye now.